Greece forest wildfires increase, arson is to blame, government announces immediate aid, 600 euros immediately for immediate uh, food and clothing, 120,000, 150,000 for homeowners who have lost their homes, that's about anywhere between 170,000, 200,000 dollars, so that's a very, very generous aid, obviously, because the land is still theirs. Um, and uh, also business owners will get a tremendous amount of money. These are uh, grants, they're not loans. So they are uh, putting immediate uh, relief packages into play. And we don't know what's going to happen with the reforestation. I hope they will have a plan for reforestation. Even though the first day the wildfires in very bobby northern suburbs were uh, quelled, we have reports of arsonists to blame. Over 500 fires here. Also Italy, over 500 fires. Turkey is burning. What is happening? This is the situation of fires today. This is a new fire right, right in, a, in my neighborhood. Uh, basically, I don't know where it's coming from, but there's not many trees in that direction. This is, of course, a church across the street from my house. And that's the fire. As we see, the wind is blowing from west to east, so the smoke is heading east. But um, this morning, uh, around 6.30, 7 o'clock, there was no wind, and uh, there was a, a very weird haze covering the whole of Attica. And now, um, then when the wind picks up, the atmosphere started clearing up, but then we figured uh, it, it was all, it was, I thought it was clouds for rain, and I was hoping for rain, but it was basically the uh, fire ash clouds. And this is, um, that smoke here is from that fire. That smoke here, you see it's heading from west to east. Okay, uh, and uh, I, have, uh, I have my son's family living with me because he doesn't have any electricity, it's very hot, so they're going to be staying with me today uh, because, of course, it's um, a problem. They don't know if the fire, which way the fire will turn, and uh, some people had... Uh, had um, fire extinguisher systems over the roof of their houses and those in order to uh, protect their homes from fires wildfires and unfortunately for some reason those systems did not work in the meantime they have found over over 800 uh, new fires in the Athens area and firemen have found volunteers firemen uh, also troops um, army troops are helping uh, to and volunteers as we said helping to put out the fires um, fire trucks, fire uh, stations, uh, also, as we said, the uh, army, and uh, the craft. Um, but they've also found uh, mechanisms by chance. They found mechanisms placed by arsonists in order to flare up, uh, to uh, start up fires. So, um, I don't know, if this is a national security. It's a national security threat. People are losing their livelihoods, their homes, uh, risk of losing life. Uh, we've already lost one firefighter from uh, down the cable. Um, he was struck by electricity and um, an accident where a fire truck fell over a fireman, but they got him out, but he's in critical condition. Um, so this is what's going on. Uh, they're, they're basically finding that it's arson. So that's the situation of this new fire, and I didn't tell I didn't tell my son because they're taking a nap. It's 4:30 in the afternoon, as you can see from the church clock, and I don't want to alarm them because they didn't sleep last night, figuring what they're gonna do. So I'll keep an update for you. I'll update. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetize my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Okay, this is today's the fourth day of wildfires in Athens. They've restarted because of the stronger winds today. 
and uh, this is the area that was burning from, from the three days ago. It's reignited. From what they've been telling us, we have over 500 forest fires around Greece, and most of them are arson. They found even people setting fires in uh, parks in the center of Athens. One young woman was found doing that, another man in Peloponnese, some mechanisms with little um, gas, gas um, containers, and uh, obviously that's all signs of arson. So this is the new smoke and it's blowing from west towards east. That's the mountain of Pandeli where the marble for the Parthenon was quarried over 2,000 years or two and a half thousand years ago. Steel quarries working there today. And as you can see, you, can't, you can hardly see the mountain because of the ash cloud. And um, in about an hour or so, it'll stop. Uh, the breeze will stop. Uh, it's getting a lot less now, but it was very breezy today. And uh, obviously, this, this is the work of arsonists. It's just terrible. Just terrible. Even though the first day, the government very quickly put it out. I mean, how can you be everywhere at once? You cannot be. The government can't be everywhere at once. Even the, uh, the troops have been called in to fight. Volunteers, uh, neighbors around trying to save their own homes. Um, even though the homes next door to them are flaring up. And uh, as I told you before, I'm, uh, I have my son and his family staying with me because their areas have been asked to evacuate about two hours ago. He went back to his home to get some necessary papers and documents and things and uh, his uh, very expensive Xbox that he, <laughs> he wanted to get, to say, but, and, you know, a lot, a lot of things that he needed that he didn't get the first time and um, they've now been asked to evacuate so I, we don't know uh, and he has no power there so we don't know how long this will be lasting we're going to be having power outages because of these fires uh, I didn't have any even though the power is quivering I didn't have any yet so this is just another update today thank you for your support